Caelan Ponga was recently seen going to Canada. Uh, the Knights have sent Caelan Ponga to Canada to assess his concussion issues. Now, I think this is an indictment on Australian doctors. Why, why can't there be a specialist in Australia that these clubs send their players to? Latrell goes to the US for his hamstring. Tom Trevojevic goes to the US for his hamstring. Now we send Caelan Ponga to Canada for his concussion. Yeah, no. Are there any Australian doctors or specialists that we can... I mean, so yeah, hamstring specialists are now all in the States. Yeah. Pappenhausen went there as well, yeah. all in the States. I don't know what a head specialist is going to do in person that he just can't do over Zoom for Ponga. Why don't they just get the head specialist over Zoom, do all the scans yeah. here. Send them it over. Seems like a waste of resources, but... Yeah, it makes I, you think. You hate to be an Australian athlete. You've got the worst healthcare facilities yeah, available. You've got the worst doctors here in Australia if you're an athlete. You're better off just going overseas and getting rehab done. So, what, But what's the Australian approach? You just give the player, hey, good luck. You know, we've got the, Say if you're not Caelan Ponga. Yeah. Say if you're a bench player, you get all these head knocks. They just say, yeah, go to Canterbury Hospital and good luck to you. Yeah, what if you're, what if you're someone like a rookie player, say like a, a junior Moan or someone like that from, from the Dragons, are you getting sent overseas? Are you getting the, for, for five-star treatment first class to the you're US? Not. Or hey, when, just, just go to Canterbury Hospital and get yeah. a scan done. When Ponga comes back, are you playing him back at fullback or back at six 100%. to avoid any tackles? What are you doing? 100% back at fullback. I don't even know why they started him what? at 5'8". He, hey, he looked good. He looked good. With, that Lockie with the Miller's ball playing okay at yeah, fullback. Know, leave him, like, you can play 5'8 in attack or just have as many touches and be as damaging as he is at fullback. Just get him the ball. But you don't have to defend in the line. And that's, look at all these concussions. They've all happened from him defending in the line. He wouldn't nearly have that many in the span of four months if he was defending at fullback. I like, think still, you're still susceptible to some at fullback. It's a severe case of bad luck as well. Don't just think it's bad tackling technique. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. there's players like Radley and, and Luke Kiru that have had the same head knocks. Do they have bad tackling technique? No, it's just, it's just unlucky. Just there's what happens. Case, I think it was Wallace from the Dolphins who had a head-on-head -head collision. Oh, he last week. Weekend, yeah. Split. Who did he split open? No, that was uh, it. Was Gilbert from the Gilbert. That came from the Cowboys? He yeah. killed. He killed Nick <laughs> <laughs> Nick Arima, he was fine. Though. He gets yeah. up, yeah, yeah shrugged it off. People just, just have stronger heads. heads. Yeah. It's like That's the Homer Simpson uh, helmet inside his head. Yeah.